linearly dependent or independent vectors. Here we have a question which says, show that u equals to 4i plus 8j and v equals to 4i minus 3j are linearly independent. Now this means that we can write u and v as a linear combination. For example, we can write it like au plus bv equals to 0. And if they are linearly independent, then that is possible only when both a and b are 0. But if we can find a value of a and b, non-zero value of a and b, then they become dependent. So that is what we have. And therefore, in such questions, wherever you have to prove that something is linearly dependent or independent, the starting point is linear combination, right? So start with linear combination. And try to show that linear combination is equal to zero for what values of a and b. Now, if if a equals to b equals to 0 is the only value, then they are linearly independent. So that is the criteria. So we will start from the linear combination of these two given vectors, which is au plus bv equals to 0, and then see what values of a and b can make this equation true, right? So that is the strategy for us. So let's start with this and see how it goes. So u is 4i plus 8j and v is 4i minus 3j. So let's substitute these values. So we get a times 4i plus 8j plus b times 4i minus 3j where i and j are unit vectors along x and y axis, correct? Now let's expand it and then we'll have 4ai plus 8aj plus 4bi minus 3bj equals to 0, where i, j are unit vectors. This is i, 4bi, I wrote it wrong. Correct. Now let's take the components common and let's recombine these and what vector is formed, let's try to see. So the i components are 4a plus 4b, that gives me i components, and for j we have 8a minus 3b, that is j equals to 0. Now we know i and j are unit vectors, they cannot be 0, right? Now since they cannot be 0, then these factors should be 0 to make this equation true. So we can equate 4a plus 4b equals to 0, that gives me one relation, and then the other one is 8a minus 3b equals to 0. So we get two different equations and we have two variables here. So now we can solve for a variable, right? So from here we can solve and we can get, we can divide by 4 and we get a plus b equals to 0. Now that means a equals to minus b and we can substitute this value of a equals to minus b in the second equation and then find what b is. So if I write a goes to minus b here, I get 8 times minus b minus 3b equals to 0. Now that is minus 11b equals to 0 and that is possible only when b equals to 0. Now from here what do we get? We get b equals to 0 and if I put b is 0 then a is also equals to 0. So the only value which satisfies this equation is when both a and b are zero, right? Therefore, we can say that vector u and vector v are linearly independent. 
correct? So that is how we prove that the given vectors are independent. If we would have found some other value of either one of them except for 0, then they would have been dependent, correct? So I hope with this you get a concept of how to show that the vectors are linearly independent or dependent. Thank you.